Hello Zany friends, welcome to another book review video. Today we are going to talk about romance books, novels, and one of them has a holiday twist. So get ready. The two books that we're going to discuss in this video is uh, Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade and In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Uh, so let me talk first about spoiler alert. Uh, this is a book that I chose to read. I got it for review uh, from NetGalley and I chose to read it specifically because it had to do with a plus size heroine and uh, on the cover you can tell she's definitely plus size. So I immediately am like drawn to that kind of thing and I love reading stories about plus size women who are strong and uh, are making their way through the world and like you know not being held down by their body size. So I was really excited to read this and in this story uh, she is a uh, I think like a geologist. She works with rocks and dirts and all that other jazz right. She also writes fan fiction for this uh, fantasy TV show called uh, Gates of the God or something like that and uh, this the guy who is the lead in this TV show uh, also has a double life where he writes fan fiction for the TV show and the books that the TV show were based on I'm, uh, on I'm a server. Glad that he writes it for his own show because it would be really very awkward if she wrote something for his show and he wrote something for Rocks. <laughs> that would be funny, but no. Uh, so what happens is they've known each other on the server, on this fanfiction server, for years. Apparently they've been reading each other's work, but she has no idea that he is the star of the TV show, okay? They've never met, ever. So the TV show ends and uh, she decides she's going to leave her job where she's been very looked down upon for like her interests and everything else. And she starts another job where people are very open about their geeky interests. And she decides she's going to post a picture of herself on Twitter cosplaying as the main, one of the main women characters from this TV show and uh, gets a ton of troll-like hate oh, comments about her size because she does it. So the dude, goes on Twitter and asks her out on a date. Basically, oh, not man. only because he wants to prove that these people shouldn't be treating people that way, but also because he finds her generally attractive. And she's like, eh, this is a PR stat. I'm not sure I'm down with this. But he doesn't know that's the girl from the server. And she obviously doesn't know that he is either. So they go on their date and he finds out who she is, but she does not. So the whole rest of the book is all about what happens. You know, he's lying to her. What is she going to do, etc. So that is the basic premise. What do you think? That seems kind of fun, actually. Right? Okay. It's kind of got elements of you got mail. Yes, it does. Or shop around the corner. Mm -hmm. Those kind of things. Exactly. For the first half of the book, I liked it. I loved the characters. I thought it was really interesting. I liked how they were approaching the plus size element, but word of caution, this is a spicy book. And that is why I did not like the second half of it. It wasn't because of all of the content of that was sexual in nature, but it was because that's all there was. And the second half of the book to me was just very like, okay, 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 we get it. They're having sex again. We got it. We got it. You know? <laughs> to me, I felt like there should have been a lot more pushing towards the plot. Um, and maybe there was, but I just got a little bored at the end about it. The way it ends is, you know, fine. Um, kind of predictable, really. But I don't know. I just, I really didn't like that there was as much of that and not as much of pushing the plot. So I ended up giving it three stars. Okay. Fortunately. Let's talk about In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Um, so I'm ready for the holidays. I don't know if any of you know this, but I am ready for the holidays. <laughs> so when I knew this book was coming out and I had read other things by Christina Lauren, I wanted to continue to read because I've kind of had a opposite effects when I read her book. One I liked, one I didn't really like as much. So I was like, meh, let's do this. So I did. Uh, the story is about a girl who goes with her uh, parents who are divorced and her brother up to a cabin up in the mountains. 
and they are joined every year as they have been for the past 15 or 20 years basically by the friends that her parents had in college and their kids. Uh, so there are some boys in one family that are like right around her age as well. She's like in her like late 20s, uh, very close to being around 30-ish, I believe. Um, so they've been doing this like basically their entire lives, going up to this cabin and enjoying the holidays every year. At the end of the week, they find out that the people who own the cabin, which is the, like one of the parents, they have decided to sell the cabin and it causes all of the families to just get horribly depressed because they know that the holidays are going to be changing from here on out. On the way home to the airport after this week, the main character's family gets struck by a car or a truck carrying Christmas trees and the main character wakes up back in the airplane that is traveling to the cabin. So she has to now go through the entire week all over again to try to get it something right. It's very Groundhog Day in nature. Mm -hmm. However, she will die, or not really die, she kind of like gets injured to the head and wakes up again. So she doesn't always go through the entire week. It's like I said, it's like Groundhog Day. So like if they make one wrong decision, then it, she just gets reset. Uh, so the whole thing is like her trying to figure out, well, who does she tell about this? What is it that she's trying to get different than the first time she went through all of this? Uh, you know, which of the two brothers does she like, etc. cetera. Uh, but it's very like family community holidays. Gotcha, gotcha. Or kind of like um, Happy Death Day. Kind of like it, except in the holidays. <laughs> in the holidays, yeah. Okay, that sounds like fun. And like you've also said, that this is a little bit more of a happy book. It is a happy book. So I'm, I'm looking for like maybe in November, I'm gonna pick this up. Right. Uh, I have to say, I loved this book. I give it five stars. And my only, only criticism about it was the fact that she didn't jump back as many times as I expected for what we were doing. I, I think in total I was expecting it to be okay you know many times that she has to try to figure it out and it doesn't happen like that it's very minimal amount of times that she actually jumps back but I think that not only kept it from getting boring uh, but on the other hand it kept it from like maybe being as funny and like um I don't know like Oh, she's dying again. Oh, no, wasn't that, wasn't that, you know, like that kind of a thing. But I think the choices of when she actually bounces back were good. And so I think that especially the writing style really lent itself to that. So that, that was really the only, the only issue I had, which okay. was good. The characters, I loved them all. They were deep, they were complex, and you really got to know all of them. And there were like 20. So like, if that's, that's a good feat right in itself. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. So, uh, like I said, five stars. Thank you so much for watching our review of two romance novels and uh, hope you join us again. Until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.